Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 44, and we're playing Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. We just landed on Nar Shadda after a rather interesting time. I'm hoping that there's like a hidden box around here or something like that, because there often is. Not always, but... Often. Often enough to make it worth taking a quick lap around. Alright. I have a funny feeling we're going to have some trouble here later. Because uh, we, we just kind of fast-talked our way around the docking fees that he was going to charge us. Or, <laughs> or kick us off the dock or whatever was going to happen if we didn't answer right. Um. Alright. Looks like we got more trouble coming. You wander too far, human. We warn you what happens, but you kind not listen. Break legs. Maybe you not wander so far. Ooh. No. Look, you can't keep us trapped in the refugee sector. We can't survive there. You've got us locked in. Know your place, human. The place is there, not here. Another human. What you looking at? What you looking at? Uh, a couple of cowards without the stomach for a real fight. Eh, that's an option. A spectator who wants to see how this play... No, a bunch of corpses if you don't leave this man alone. Uh, let's try the insult. A couple of cowards without the stomach for a real fight. <laughs> one human. Not amusing fight. More than one human. A little better. Yeah. Alright. Let's do this. Let's start with you. Um, forget the stasis. Let's... Jump in on that. Let's uh, jump in on that. And then... Let's throw in a couple of power attacks. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't have any ranged people. Let us test ourselves. <laughs> there we go. Well, that was quick. That's how I like fights. Credits. There's not even a number? Like what? He has a credit? Did I did I just steal his last dollar? No, he's not going to need it. Thanks for your help. They would have crippled me for sure. Huh. Save your gratitude. Now you owe me. I may still cripple you if you prove useless to me. Just shut up and get out of here. Yeah, look. Listen, if you're looking for the dark side, just notice that uh, three out of five answers are uh, dark side or dark side adjacent. All right. Since I'm not trying to, to cause trouble here. Whatever your reasons, thanks. Yay! Light side points gained. All right. She didn't do so bad there, so let's leave her where she's at. Spare a few credits, friend. Uh <laughs> No, take your pedaling, lie. Um I can in exchange for some information. Uh, all right. I don't know much beyond the refugee sector here, but I can share what I know. Um, tell me about the, the refugee sector. With refugees from the Jedi Civil War, and even as far back as the Mandalorian Wars, refugees and war veterans both, and anyone else who was rendered homeless by the war, the Jedi destroyed planets across the galaxy, and here's where the refugees well, ended up. I mean, the Jedi didn't do this; the Sith did. Why are the refugees here? Ah. Uh, uh, well, you know. That's two names for one thing. It's difficult to tell in the crossfire, and the Sith were led by Jedi. In the end, it didn't make much difference. Okay, that's fair. Uh, why are the refugees here? A lot of space lanes cross at Nar Shadda, and once here, it's hard to move on. Even fighter pilots from the war can't get work at the docks. The freighter crews are full up. There's no work here, and no way out. Unless you want to become a hired muscle for the exchange. Or work in a hut well, I mean, 
Get to some muscle in. Do you know somebody named? No, should I? He doesn't sound like a hut. What is he a bounty hunter or an exchange boss? Uh, he's a Jedi, Jedi master. master. There aren't any Jedi masters in the galaxy, let alone on Nar Shaddaa. This place is a cesspit, with the exchange and the hut stabbing their claws into everything. <laughs> but you know, I did hear something about a bounty on Jedi though. Something the exchange posted. Doesn't matter though. Aren't any more Jedi around, so no one's going to be collecting that bounty. Well, I'll give you that one. What can you tell me about the bounty on Jedi? Not much to say, except it's a high price. You need to find a bounty hunter to get more, and they've been pretty scarce lately. You might have more. Well, I mean, I have been thinning the exchange. ranks lately. And I don't mean some spaceport muscle. I mean someone connected. Ooh, thank you for the link, Arcadius. Alright, uh... Any idea on why? No idea. Could be one of them cross the exchange, and they're looking for a <laughs> on all of them. I, I might know of a Jedi who might have crossed the exchange. He might even be the original owner of the Ebon Hawk. Viewable in episode one, <laughs> in uh, season one of Games Revisited, when we played through Knights of the Old Republic 1. All right, so where would I find someone connected to the exchange? Well, to, lay low. to be honest, it's like with bounty hunters. You may need to do something to get their attention. Uh, all right, I'll be going now. You did promise some credits in exchange for information. Yeah, of course I did. <laughs> Your information was useless and worth nothing. I'll let you live and consider yourself fortunate. No, uh, of course. Here's five bucks. Look, Don't spend thing. it all in one place. It's obvious you're new around here. I can tell it just by looking at you. Now Shadar can be Me, a rough place. Because I'm not covered in mud and muck. If you want, I can keep an ear out for you. Let you know if I hear anything. I'd appreciate it. I'll do that then. I'll come seek you out if I hear anything I think you might want to know. Why do I get the feeling that you're not going to tell me anything? All right. Uh, then... I saw what you did to those exchange thugs, stranger. Can you spare a few credits, maybe help another refugee in need? Uh, alright. Do I change some way? I have nothing for you. No. It's five bucks. Thank you, stranger. I won't forget your kindness. Why did you do such a thing? Such oh. kindnesses will mean nothing. You're still going to gonna, you're gonna telepathically he yell at me? Is like pouring sand into his hands. Uh, I don't want to talk about this. I cannot stand by and let others suffer. Nothing is set as long as there's hope. There's a chance for redemption every day. And would that be a kindness? What if by surviving another day he brings a greater darkness upon another? <laughs> Does your pessimism run that deep? And yeah, what if he doesn't? Force binds all things. The slightest push, the smallest touch, sends echoes throughout life. Even an act of kindness may have more severe repercussions than you know or can see. By giving him something he has not earned, perhaps all you have helped him become is a target. Seeing another elevated hmm. often brings the eyes of others who suffer. And perhaps in the end, all you have wrought is more pain. And that is my lesson to you. Be careful of charity and kindness, lest you do more harm with open hands than with a clenched fist. Uh, hmm. All right. Since this is telepathic, I wonder if anybody else is listening in. Let's uh, let's go ahead and say there's wisdom. Good. Mind what I have said. Use your power, but in its proper place. Oh, I still got light side points anyway, and I gained some influence in Korea. Oh, nice. That's better than I could have hoped for. All right. Uh, do we go to the sweet garage first? Sure. 
Let's do that first. Hello. Oh. And what did he want? Just answers to some questions. Asked about a Jedi Master of all things. Really? Uh oh. Interesting. Uh I think I've been ratted out for another five credits. Alright. Is there nobody? Oh, there we go. I thought for sure there was going to be a box. Sound dampening overlay and 51 bucks. Well, that already makes back the 10 credits I spent. I will need to spend some time with a workbench, probably after the the whole of the live stream. You know, the next six episodes. Air speeder navigation interface. What's that going to do for me? No, uh, there we go. This navigation control interface is intended to be compatible with most current airspeeder models. That doesn't tell me why I want it, though. Ooh, damage immunity 15% versus Sonic. That could be useful, too. TT32, the 32nd maintenance assistant model will be employed by my master. How may I help you? Uh, 30 second model? <laughs> oh yes, the previous 31 models employed have met explosive ends or shut down. Uh, okay then. I'm looking to buy some equipment. Okay. Uh, I'll be going now. Is the master not the... Oh, there he is. Okay, good. Um, no, I'm not going to mug him yet. But before I forget, did I... No, I didn't actually give her armor. Uh, that's nice. But man, it comes out of steep decks. There we go. Flex heavy armor, shiny heavy armor. That works better, because that, that nets me better than the Mandalorian heavy armor and still allows for the full max dex bonus. Okay. I need to remember to upgrade that later. I knew I forgot something. All right, let's talk to Mr. Tubb. Where did I leave that hydro spanner? Ah, who's that? Is someone in front of me? Raise your chin five degrees and rotate your head 15 degrees to your right. Oh, seriously, we're going to go. Darkness has fallen upon my eyes, a curse of age. What brings you here, visitor? Tien, it's Beador, 12th Engineering Division out of Eodoria. I worked with you in the hangar bays on the Salamoth. <laughs> the voice I remember, huh? <laughs> but the Jedi Civil War is over. Why is he come to me now? Tien, we are already in trouble. In some ways, the war is not yet over, and our enemies seek us even now. <laughs> you bring up the war to use it against me? Uh... Mm. Do we go with, uh, yeah, let's start with the initial, are you all right? And then we'll try the other stuff. All right, yes, my eyes have failed before their time, but my hands and hearing are still sharp. But I am not blind to sounds, no matter how quiet, so address me with respect. I came here to do business. <laughs> Business is always welcome. Oh, that, that is the international language, right? Depends. The finest vehicle repair shop, huh? 
If we needed to, Tien may be able to modify our ship's transponder codes. Thank you. I was trying to find that again. Alright, can you change the ship's ID transponder codes? Could I? Well, I? Not legal. Frowned upon by government peoples with both and stunners. Uh, I can pay you for your time. Oh, no, not a mate. Okay. Transponder card. Oh, is that the transponder card that I uh, just picked up? All right. I got the card, but not an ID signature. All right. Can I use your workbench? Oh, beautiful. I'll be making use of that between streams. <laughs> everything in its place and a place for everything. I get it. Any parts or equipment I can buy? Ooh, hey. He's got stuff. Droid upgrade slot. Oh. This module reprograms the droid systems to allow upgrades that normally would be too advanced. Hmm. Oh, okay. That that upgrades it so that way the uh, the droid gets uh, droid upgrade class two. Uh, I think T three is already beyond that. That's the massive criticals. Eh, not really. Strength plus one. That's a possibility, but I think I can make that. I'm I'm not sure that that's worth 77 credits. I, I get to double check what uh, underlays I've got on everything else, too. Although, strength and con. That changes things, too. All right, damage bonus plus one. Slashing. Okay. That's not... Oh, no, no, no. That That is... Uh, attack modifier plus one. Defense bonus minus one. Eh. Targeting. Ooh. Hmm. Never mind. Damage... Okay, so that's... That's not bad either. A straight up damage bonus and some extra on massive criticals and a lightsaber crystal, which would be nice if I had a lightsaber. All right, um, let's close that out for now. And we got a journal entry. This is going to be for need to bring him either a transponder card from another ship or a blank card and the new ID signature. Well, okay then. Right then, else over here. All right, what is? Oh, ah, excuse me. One thing before you go. You're gonna ask of me a favor. It has come to my attention that my predecessor wasn't carelessly destroyed. Uh, what happened to him? After the last accident here in the garage, he was scrapped. He was then picked up by a junk dealer, Coden. Uh, and what would you like me to do? <laughs> to get him back? Not for sentiment reasons, mind you. Uh, uh, the utility droid in question has some plans stored in his memory core. Ooh. Okay. All right, I will be glad to help. Let me go retrieve this droid from Coden. <laughs> yeah. If you retrieve my predecessor's memory core, then I'd be most appreciative. I bet you would. All right. Well, what does this droid look like? Small astromech, little battered. IT31. All right, and where do I find Coden? He's in the main hub, in the refugee sector. He should have a graveyard of poor droids around him. Uh... Okay. He's a nasty aquilish. 
All right. That's an empty cylinder. Now, do I want to go back through this way and around? Or, ooh. It looks like this is just a room. So what is in... Oh, that is not just a room. What do we have here? A multi-spectral target assessor and 25 bucks. I'm always down for an extra 25 bucks. But what a... Uh... Ooh. This might be worth giving to Atten when I get a chance. But it requires weapon specialization, blaster pistol, and blaster rifle. But it gives the bonus feat precise shot 1 and 2. And an attack modifier of plus 3. And I think I got another bit of gear that'll give the the weapon specs feats. That that might be worth uh, playing around with other equipment. All right, just uh, double checking my notes on the map here, and I think this is where we would have come out anyway. Yeah, this is where we would have come out anyway. So. Let's um let's work our way around then. Shall we? That's everything through there. Although There we go. Let's uh let's head through here first. Actually, before I head here, let me uh let me put on a little cut, because I think that's going to be it for episode 44. If you're watching on the live stream, I will start 45 in just a second. If you're watching on YouTube, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And... If you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.